Welcome to DesignJet T7100 training modules. In this module, we'll review media handling options. Let's begin by reviewing how to load media. From the front panel, select Menu, Paper, select Paper Load, select which role you would like to load first, select the paper category that will be loaded into the media role. In this instance, it's coded paper. Press OK and follow the steps on the screen. Please note, if the catch media basket's in place, the first step is to remove it. The next step is to lower the front cover completely. Once the front cover is lowered, select your media, insert appropriately, and adjust with the blue lever here to the end cap of your media. Once the media is loaded, lower the paper feed brake by pushing down on the blue lever. With the paper feed brake lowered, advance the paper until it's in the blue zone. Lift up the paper feed brake, utilizing the blue handle. The next step is to close the front cover. Once the paper is loaded, the front panel will indicate it is ready. Next, we'll cover the steps of how to unload the paper. From the main menu, select Paper, scroll down to Paper Unload, and select the role that you would like to unload. Press OK to begin the process. To complete the steps to unload the roll, follow the prompts on the front panel. The first step to unload the media is to lower the front cover completely. Lower the paper feed brake with the blue lever. Roll the paper back. Press the blue lever to release the paper and pull forward. Now you've completed the steps for unloading the media. To ensure media versatility, DesignJet T7100 comes with 3-inch core adapters. The bin basket is provided to store finished prints. It can be used in several different ways. To stack A0 or E paper sizes only, the top handles should be up and the bottom handles should be down. To stack A1 or D sizes only, the top handles should be down and the bottom handles are irrelevant. To hold mixed paper sizes in the basket at the bottom, the top and bottom handles should both be up. Before stacking A0E or A1D paper sizes, ensure that the bin basket is correctly positioned below the paper output. Push it up against the printer until it comes to a definite stop. For the production environment, one valuable accessory is the high-capacity stacker. 